Hello everyone, Hyper here, and in today's video, we will be going over my add-on pack that I use for WoW Classic. I will go over two different add-on builds, one that includes LVUI and one that does not, because obviously LVUI incorporates a lot of different add-ons into its functionality. So now that my Rogue hit level 60, I changed my, my UI to be a little bit more raid friendly, whereas for leveling, I kept it a little more classic, a little more basic. But in this video, I'll, I will go over all of the add-ons I use that I recommend, um, as well as some that uh, have some minor functionalities but are nice once you hit level 60. So for the LVUI build, it's fairly straightforward and there's only a few add-ons that you really need for it. The first one is obviously LVUI, which includes a lot of different functionalities, uh, anywhere from bag add-on, uh, nameplates, UI frames, raid frames, um resource bars like mana energy combo points stuff like that so map it includes a lot of different things it basically changes the way your entire ui looks and this is mostly brought over from retail pve players uh, most of them use lvui including myself so if you want to go for that look you will only need a few add-ons lvui weak auras so weak auras, you can set up some basic timers uh, in classic. There's not that many things to keep track of in your rotation, but with weak auras, you can set up swing timers, you can set up um, buff trackers. So as a rogue, you need to keep up slice and dice. So it's weak core is a great way to track that. Um, or, you know, tracking what, whether or not you need to be buffing people in your party, things like that. Uh, the next one is the damage meter. I use details, uh, super easy to set up. Basically, whenever you install it, it's ready to go, but I use a slightly modified profile that I imported from my live version. And then for optional add-ons, uh, Atlas loot, very good once you get to uh, end game and you actually want to target specific items. Questy, very good for leveling. Uh, while you're leveling, Default WoW uh, in Classic does not show where you can pick up quests. Questy actually marks your map with quest givers uh, at your specific level. It also marks quest objectives on your map, so very, very useful. And then for another questing add-on, I suggest either using Azerite or um, Azeroth Autopilot AAP or Zygor Guide. Either of those will help you out a lot because in classic, most of your downtime will come from traveling from quest giver to, you know, quest turn in. And if you have any add on that's able to kind of consolidate that and make your travel time uh, take less, so you have to do less trips overall, it will save you a ton of time. Even if it does not give you like very good um, information about exactly what to do. Or, you know, you could figure it out on your own, but minimizing the travel time is a huge deal because I found myself using AAP until about level 20. And this was day one where the add-on was actually not working quite right. Uh, so then after about level 20 or level 30, I stopped using any add-ons. And I found that a lot of quests that I ended up picking up in one point and just running, turning it into the other point, I should have, uh, I could have saved time by doing other quests on the way or doing multiple quests that will end up being turned in in the same location. So using a, a questing guide actually saves a ton of time overall if you're not dungeon grinding to level 60. Um, and then the last add-on I would suggest is a BIS tracker or best in slot tracker. Um, it's just a great way to kind of have goals that, that you meet overall and it tells you which item is best in slot and where you get it from. Then obviously, once you get it, it marks it done, so you can move on to the next one. Um, now moving on to the traditional build, this will be a lot more add-ons overall, because obviously you don't use LVUI in this one, which incorporates a lot of these add-ons into its core functionality. So for the traditional build, I tried going for a little more of a classic looking build that just looks like the base game, but improved because obviously Classic has a few flaws in its UI that um, is nice to kind of have add-ons to improve upon that. A few nice things that they did do is importing the party frames they can set up from retail. Uh, so you can set up your party flame frames and raid frames to look quite nice. 
Um, but as far as your character panel or character frame, nameplates, cast bars, debuffs, things like that, there's a few things that can be improved. So the very first one is classic aura durations. So this will just show an actual number on debuffs on your target. So as a rogue, if I blind the target without the add-on, in a classic WoW, you are not able to tell how much there is left on this debuff. Uh, with classic aura durations, it will tell you exactly the numbers, so you can, you know, not to overlap CC. Or if you're a dot class, like a warlock, you know exactly how long there is left on your dot instead of having to guess or just keep looking at it until it falls off your target. Uh, next one is classic cast bars. This is nice because in classic, there's obviously no cast bars. So having an idea of what your target is actually casting, super useful. Uh, one thing that I did find is that it's not always super accurate when it comes to the actual duration of the cast. I ended up always having to kick about halfway through the cast because sometimes the cast finished at 80%, sometimes it went past 100%. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, maybe they update it in the future, but at least you know what your target is casting. So if it's casting an important uh, thing like a heal or anything like that, you will be able to see that. Uh, damage meter, still use details. For my inventory, I used Inventorian. Uh, it's great add-on. Um, it looks a lot like classic bags, but it just consolidates all of them into one panel instead of having all your bags open separate. Um, for my map, I used Mapster, and this basically just makes your map a little bit smaller and adds coordinates to it. And that was great because I don't like the full screen size map where you have no idea what your where your character is running if something attacks you while you have your map open anything like that. So Mapster super useful. And then also something that ties into the map is obviously Questy, which we use in the other um, add-on pack as well. So like I mentioned, Questy just marks everything on your map that you need to know. Uh, next add-on here is Omni CC. This basically just puts durations on your action bar slots. So if I use a cooldown, uh, it will actually have a number above it. I believe they also imported this from retail. They can turn this on and off in the interface panel. But I just like the way Omni CC does it a little bit better with you know the number becoming bigger and the color changing depending on how much there is left on your specific cooldown. Uh, moving on, we have vendor price. This is obviously great because Classic WoW doesn't tell you how much stuff will vendor for. So whenever, you know, things drop or you, you're faced with the situation where you have to toss something out of your bags, which happened quite often to me, uh, you know to toss out the lowest value items. Uh, then for leveling, add on either AAP or Zygor. So one thing to mention about Zygor, it's... A believe it's a little bit better than AAP, but you do have to pay for it. So that's its big downside. And if you don't if you don't want to pay a couple of bucks for a leveling add-on, then AAP will do just fine, assuming that they fix the issues at their earlier levels. Um and then Atlas loot obviously to keep track of uh of uh, where you can get stuff from and then BIS tracker to keep track of your previous items and then once you move into raiding your raid this items um one add-on that i didn't mention is for your action bars i actually if i go with a standard traditional build i actually use default action bars i don't mind them too much and if you don't want to use the default action bars you can uh, download either dominoes or bartender 4 and either those will serve um, you know, their purpose and just consolidate your action bars and allow you to customize them a little bit better. So the last add-on that I forgot to mention is for both of the add-on setups, you will want either DBM or big wigs and little wigs. I prefer big wigs and little wigs just because it's a little less intrusive and in your face um, and it's a little more subtle than big wigs or then DBM, but either one you choose will work just fine once you start raiding and doing some more difficult dungeons. So for this last segment of the video, I want to show you how to import profiles and a few minor changes that you can make um, to adjust this UI based on your preference. So if you want to use my specific profiles, they're only available for Twitch subs, so you would need to head over to my Twitch page um where i have some instructions on how to get that done 
but basically everything is linked to my discord so if you're a twitch sub then you get access to my ui channel in my discord so if you were to import an lvi profile first of all you want to open up lvi settings by typing in slash ec and then going to the profiles tab down here click import profile and then copy the string that I provide in my spreadsheet or whoever's LVI profile you choose to use and simply paste it in there. So whenever you import it for the first time, most of the settings will import a few things such as um, fonts, a few textures might not show up right away. So you'll need to restart your game and then those will update as well. But most of the time, everything will import on the first try. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and start uh, messing around with what you actually want to set up. So the first thing that you will want to do is set up these central bars. So these by default, uh, on live I use weak auras for these, but on classic I set it up just as an LVI action bar and you can put whatever spells you want on here. So you simply open up your, um, your spell book and then just drag whatever spells you want to show up on these buttons. So one thing that you can change, depending on your class, you might have more or you might have less of these buttons. You will go to action bars and action bar five and six are these two. So the top one is five, bottom one is action bar six. So if you want to change the number of buttons, the size of these, uh, whether or not they should show up when they're em empty, whether or not there's a backdrop or not, things like that, you can easily uh, adjust based on your class. So for example, if you only have like three or four utility buttons, then you might not need this bottom row at all. So you can just go ahead and disable it. So these are a few things that you can adjust. And obviously, if you need more buttons, you can also increase the number of buttons that you have. Um, the next thing is key binding. So with LVI, there's a very easy key binding mode where you just go to action bars, general options and key binding mode. First, of, first thing you will want to do is delete the preset key bindings that you have uh, because otherwise it will just have two key bindings for the same button. So you just do that by pressing escape. So for example, here I have these three buttons bound to Q, uh, W, and R. So I just pressed escape while hovering over them that got rid of the key binding and then I just go back in and rebind it. And then whenever you're done with key binding, you just press save and everything is good. Um, a few other things that you can change is the UI scale. In Classic, I prefer a, a bigger scale UI just because there's not that much else happening. So you might as well have a larger UI. Um, in Retail, I think I have a 0.65 UI scale. Uh, in Classic, I have a 0.75. So here you can go in and you can change it. I can change it to 0 0.70 if I want it slightly smaller. Then you just have to reload and that's going to adjust everything. Everything from your map to your chat box to uh, the central bars. Everything is just going to get scaled up or scaled down based on your preference. Um, a few other things is if you use a bag add-on, I actually prefer um, to use Inventorian as a bag add-on even with LVI bags. So that means that I have my bags disabled. If you don't want to use a bag add-on and just have default LVI bags, then you can just re-enable them right here. Now with buffs and debuffs, I have basically everything set up. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. A few things that you might want to play with is the text that shows up either on yourself or your target. So for myself, I don't care what level I am. I know I'm level 60, so I don't need it showing constantly that I'm level 60. I have that hidden. But you can add that under the unit frames and player options. So you can either set up a custom text or you can just add it here in the name. Um, and over here on the, on the side, whenever you hover over this box, it will tell you all the formats to set these up. Um, so for the most part, I have everything set up to where you just import it and you're ready to go. But if you want to change any of these, um, you can feel free to do so especially when it comes to like raid frames, um, things like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it and it helped you, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about the UI, about any of the specific add-ons, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.